Right now on ABC 6 News at 6, we'll tell you how investigators in one Delta County need your help tonight to find a gunman on the loose. Plus, the high price of freedom. We'll show you how people around the Delta honor those who paid that price. ABC Coming in on NG1. Starts now. NG1. Live in high definition, this is ABC Stabato 6 News. And kill them. Good evening, everybody. Happy Memorial Day to you. I'm I'm Tanya Carter. Thank you so much for joining us here for ABC 6 News at 6 on this Monday evening on Memorial Day. We'll do at 6 a Memorial Day weekend party in Grenada County ends with gunfire. Authorities say someone shot 27-year-old Latara Sykes at least once in his chest. The shooting happened last night in the parking lot at move. Ten Top Nightclub on Highway 8 East. A witness used to try the vehicle to rush Sykes to an area hospital for treatment. At this time, no arrest has been made in the shooting. But if you know anything about it, you are urged to call Crime Stoppers at 662-227-8477. Yeah, there we go, 8477. Uh, remember, they only need your information about your name there. Or the Grenada County Sheriff's Office at 662-227-2877. Chris? Oh, well, a man police say killed another man at a Shelby convenience yeah. store in jail tonight. Police arrested 33-year-old Timothy Jones Sunday night after he turned himself in. They say Jones shot and killed 33-year-old Orion K. Tony Wilson. Two, two, that shooting happened Let's Saturday see. morning at the Super Saver convenience store. Police say Jones and Wilson got into an argument before that shooting. Now, so far, police have not charged Wilson but they expect to charge him with murder when they do actually put those charges into place. Wilson to make his first court appearance Tuesday. Well, people in Grenada are also honoring lives lost in the defense of freedom. And ABC Justin Moore was there, and he brings us this report tonight. So we know that you have secured these for today. More than 100 people spent their afternoon at Grenada Town Square. Reflecting on those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. I, I love these type of celebrations and, and they're very much needed. I appreciate the crowd. Each year, the city of Grenada pauses to pay tribute to fallen Chris soldiers. Got, Chris song, got this tag and Tanya got next door. So I'm thankful uh, for my him. dad and my wife's dad and all the other during the ceremony, living veterans march around the courthouse square. Many of them say it's something that hits close to their hearts. I remember the guys that was in the trenches with me and the hard times that we had and the fallen comrades. And I thank them every day. One Grenada mom who's the caregiver for her wounded warrior son says the country needs to do more to help vets. We want, uh, of course, our government to recognize our veterans more, to uh, have more benefits for them, and get those benefits to them. Veterans, some of us have tough times and tough places, but, uh, you know, we're all trying to recover and just to fit back into the circle. Justin Moore, ABC 6 News, Grenada. And to Chris. Justin, thank you for that report. Organizers say this was the largest crowd ever for this annual Memorial Day event. Tanya. And Greenville man raises several flags today in honor of the fallen soldiers. Vietnam veterans who made his way throughout the Fort City this weekend and today, placing over 1,000 flags in the Greenville Cemetery with the help of others. Flags for all of the men who were killed in combat and those who served in the military. He also went to four different locations where he adjusted the American flag to be positioned halfway and at 12 o'clock raised them high. Sweet says memories will forever live on of his companions who served alongside who lost their lives. And as many throw food on the grill and enjoy their days off, Sweet hopes people will remember the real reason of Memorial Day. I, I wish that our younger people were more educated into what caused our wars, what the results of our next. wars were, and about patriotism. Cool. Now, Sweet plans to host uh, several workshops through the American Legion with kids throughout the Delta, educating them on military history and its importance. Well, people in Bolivar County hope future generations will never forget the sacrifices past generations made for their freedom. Dozens of people gathered today at the Bolivar County Courthouse to say thank you to America's fallen heroes. 
American Legion and VFW members laid a wreath in their honor. The event also featured speakers, including several veterans. They all echoed one important sentiment, that freedom is never free. Yeah, people don't realize how many people fought in the Great War from the Mississippi Delta. It, it really makes me feel good to see that we have this many people that care about the veterans, the uh, ones that have died and gone on. And organizers hope today's young people appreciate the sacrifices of yesterday's heroes. Well, new at 6, Thursday will be a big day in Cleveland with two major events to take place. Now, the first event is an unveiling ceremony for the new Bicycle Trail informational kiosk at Reesdown on Thursday to be held at the Downtown Walking Trail. The other event starts at 4 p.m. and is a unveiling of a historic marker honoring Congressman David Bowen. Now, this will also be held at the Downtown Walking Trail in Cleveland, a reception following the unveiling will be held at the Martin and Sue King Railroad Heritage Museum. Will B.B. King's body is set to arrive in Mississippi this week for his final homecoming, but not before it's yet nice. another autopsy. So no. B.B. King's hair heirs have been most outspoken about the blues legend's care in his final days or accusing yeah. King's too That's close to save of poisoning him. Well, they just police homicide detectives are investigating and uh, Lieutenant Schreiber declined to provide the details. Now daughters, Karen Williams and Patty King, allege that family members were prevented from visiting Chris got King, next. the business manager, Lauren Tony, and his personal assistant, Myron Johnson, postponed their father's death. Tony refused to make a comment about the allegations. Well, a lot of folks already know this sad news, but in case you don't, we want to share it again. Across the Delta tonight, people are mourning the loss of a local community and business leader. Dr. B.K. Shawla died yesterday. Shawla owned and operated 17 hotels in the Delta, but he was also a tireless contributor and uh, contributor to yep. local education and sports programs. As you can see there on your screen right now, we also have funeral arrangements for Shawla. His family will receive visitors at 9 o'clock Wednesday morning at North Greenwood Baptist Church. A memorial service will immediately follow visitation at that church. The family also plans a religious ceremony in Canton. After that, Charles' family will take his ashes home to his native Well, also new at 6, it appears a revenue from Mississippi casinos is tight. The Mississippi Department of Revenue says in April, casinos won nearly $180 million from gamblers. That's up more than 8% over April of last year. Now, casinos along the Gulf Coast won the most money, about $94 million. But Mississippi River casinos won 83 million. That's up four percent, four and a half rather percent over last April. Overall, so Chris, Mississippi look casino at two, revenue look at one. one percent so far. Well, still to come after the forecast tonight, a sad situation in a Pennsylvania neighborhood where four dogs were found dead in a house left to starve by the owner. And still to come, the NCAA announcing its field of 64 college baseball Chris. teams advancing to regional postseason play. Miss Lily has more on that later in sports. Chris for Mattress, I think a lot of folks in the Delta want to say thank you for this uh, almost perfect Memorial Day. Chris. Well, except for the ones that are getting rained on now, I guess, Chris, there are some heavy thunder showers. Stand and we're expecting a lot more of that by late tonight. We'll have the full forecast when ABC 6 News continues. Thank you, Brett.